Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Rowell. All right, we had something kind of sad happen here in the last couple days. I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but I want to do something today to make sure it doesn't happen again. You recall a few months ago, I put the cover on the pool. When I put the cover on the pool, I also took the ladder out of the pool. Now, when I put the, pulled the cover off a few days ago, um, the water has been, you know, exposed to the rest of the world and the ladder hasn't been in there. And apparently sometime in the last couple of days, a squirrel fell into the pool and couldn't get out. Um, I suspect probably what happened is since the water is 55 degrees, he probably succumbed to hypothermia and then drowned. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, I am going to put the, uh, the ladder back into the pool, but that isn't the complete solution to this problem because a lot of times I lift the ladder up that goes into the water so that the pool sweep can get in there because otherwise all the leaves always sit there and gather behind the ladder between the ladder and the wall of the pool and uh, you can't get the pool you can't get the pool sweep in there so um, I do leave that in there but what I want to do is I want to build just a little squirrel ladder basically something that they could use to get out and I got kind of an idea of something simple that I could build but we're gonna have to go to Home Depot to do that so let's get going with this. Now so far it seems that my uh, squirrel proofing the bird feeder has been working. I have not seen any evidence whatsoever that the squirrels have been able to get to the bird feeder. I have seen a number of birds using it and so that's good. I'm glad that they've discovered it and I'm glad so far the squirrels haven't been able to get to it. Now, I've discovered there's been somewhat of a symbiotic uh, relationship going on between the birds and the squirrels because when the birds peck away at the, the seed cake in here, invariably some of the seeds fall to the ground and then the sp I've, no I've noticed on several occasions the squirrels hanging out right beneath the feeder catching everything that the birds drop so so if that's happening that's cool i don't have a problem with that i just don't want the bird the, the squirrels getting up here and eating all of this stuff because you know th this will last the birds for quite a while you know three or four ravenous squirrels will go through this in in two days so i don't want to be having to replace this thing every couple of days because the squirrels are eating all of it so if the birds are dropping a little bit on the ground you know what that's cool now a number of people commented on my squirrel video a couple of days ago that, that they were concerned that the squirrels could get into the attic and chew up the wires and basically labeled as them pests. First off, there's no way in the world that the squirrels are going to be able to get into the attic or get access to anything because this house is buttoned up pretty tight on the outside. There are no easy ways into the house. So I'm not really worried about that. As for them being pests and rodents or, you know, and you know, whatever, I don't have a problem with it. I think they're cute. I like having them around. So, you know what? That's just me. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep supporting them and I'm going to do what I can to protect them. All right, so I'm back from Home Depot, and this is actually what I'm going to make the uh, squirrel ladder for the pool out of. This I'm just going to create a little wooden frame, and I'm going to attach this, and we'll drape this into the pool a little bit, and I think that'll take care of the problem. Now, I also ran a couple other errands, and actually one of them I want to talk to you a little bit about. Uh, people on the live stream have been commenting recently that they think I've lost some weight. And uh, they say they can see it in my face. Now, I, I look at this face every day, so I don't really see it. You know, you guys might see it more looking at it once a week and kind of see the differences, but I don't see it so much. But I knew I'd lost some weight because uh, when I first got into the house, um, I started looking at the uh, scale and noticed that my numbers were going down. But I didn't really know how far they had gone down because I didn't know what I was at my peak because the scale was in the storage locker. Uh, so... Uh, I know that right before I started my job, I went in and had a health screening. Uh, for, and they went, I went to like this little medical center to do that. And I decided, you know what, one of the things they did was weigh me. So I went in there on this trip and asked them how much I weighed when they weighed me at that point. And that was 10 months ago. And they said that uh, the, the, uh, the number they had was 226 pounds. Uh, so yes, I have definitely lost weight because I'm hovering about 200 right now. So I've probably lost 23 or 24 pounds. Uh, you got to remember that I was I wasn't naked when I was at the uh, at the uh, health center getting getting weighed. So you know that's a little bit off. So I'm taking off a little bit of weight for the scale or for my for the fact that I was wearing clothes and all that. But um, yeah, I've lost uh, about. 24, 25 pounds. That's not bad. I can live with that. And I'm not doing anything special. I'm just working and I'm active at work and I'm up and around and walking all the time. So it doesn't surprise me that that happened. 
Now there are two possible ways the squirrel ended up in the pool. Uh, one of them I pretty much discounted and that is it was up in the tree and some for some reason it fell out of the tree. I really doubt that. It, it has been really windy lately but you know what it's windy here a lot and it hasn't been anything that special in terms of the wind so i really kind of tend to discount the idea that it might have, that the squirrel fell out of the tree or got blown out of the tree more than likely and i've actually seen this happen the squirrel i've seen squirrels jump from here over to the edge of the pool and i've seen them wander around on the edge of the pool i suspect they're probably going after the water in the pool and i suspect probably what happened is somebody jumped from here over to the pool and either didn't stick the landing or slip into the pool or maybe when they were leaning over the edge to get into the water that they uh, fell in. So um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is this is where I'm going to make the ladder. I'm going to make the ladder very very close to the tree so it's right so if they do end up falling in you know they'll be very close to the ladder and can uh, hop back out if they need to. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a little wooden frame that will sit on top of the the thing here it'll go down the side and then it'll hook onto the underside there and then it'll slope down this way and i'm going to attach that screen material to the the part going into the pool and probably the part up here then and the screen will actually extend into the water and then they can just literally use that as a as a ladder to climb out if they ever fall in again i think that shouldn't take long to do and uh i've got just some scrap wood around the house that, that I think I can use just to fashion something together that will make a good frame. So I gotta collect some measurements. And it looks like the squirrels have found the suet feeder. Actually, for a while there I had a little corn in there and so I think maybe that's what they're going for. I figured, you know, yeah, see they're going for the corn, they aren't going for the suet. So, cause what I did is in that little metal section there I put a, put some, or in the middle section there I put some corn. You now. They were smart and they knocked the corn off the thing onto the ground so they could get at it easier, but uh, uh, there, there's still a few corn kernels left in the feeder there and that's what that one's going for. I also see there's one over here, I uh, can't see him right now, but I think he's behind the, uh, the maple tree there and he's eating some of the corn because I put it up at the tree, it's right there and they've eaten that cob bare, but you know when they're eating they tend to spill a little bit and some of it ends up on the ground so after they've cleaned off the corn cob they tend to go after the stuff that they dropped on the ground oh yeah there he is, now he's sitting up on the pot chomping on what he can see probably some of, some of it fell into the pot too because that's literally right beneath where the corn cob is all right, so these are the pieces of wood that I've cut for that are going to be the frame that kind of hold the whole thing onto the side of the pool. Uh, they're a little rough right now. I'm going to sand them off and smooth them up a little bit before I use them. But before I do that, I just want to make sure that everything fits perfectly first. All right, so this is what the thing's going to look like when I get it all put together. Basically, this is going to hook underneath the uh, outside of the pool and kind of lock onto the thing. And then I'm going to have these pieces extending down from the bottom side and I'm going to attach the ladder to these pieces and to the top. But first thing I got to do is sand up the wood a little bit so it's smoother and we don't have all those splinters and all that stuff hanging out of the sides. That's just a neatness thing. All right, this is sort of just a rough mock-up of what the thing's going to look like. Uh, it's an opportunity for me to go make sure it fits on the pool properly. Um, I still got to put these pieces on, but uh, that can happen afterwards. So I'm going to run out. Let's go see if this works on the pool. All right, so like I said, this little piece here is supposed to kind of hook underneath the pool and go like that. And that's sort of what I wanted to do, because at this point, you know, it's not going to fall off very easily. Um, it should stay there. Like I said, there's going to be a little piece hanging down here, and the netting will go down there. Uh, but that, I think, looks pretty good. I might have left a little bit more space there, so that was a little bit more of a level platform. But that's okay. I think this is going to be just fine. All right, so there's the final product, of course, minus the netting. I'm going to go try it on one more time just to make sure it fits. And then we'll put the netting on, and we should be done. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So let's get the netting on it, uh, get it cleaned up, and uh, we'll be ready to install this bad boy. All right, so there is the official squirrel memorial ladder. Uh, what's going to happen, this part will hang into the water, and if anyone ever falls in, they'll easily be able to grip onto this and pull themselves out, and it'll just hang on the end of the pool, and that should work pretty good. So let's go install this and see what it looks like. And there it is. So uh, all set, all ready to go. Looks like it's going to work pretty well. Uh, like I said, I was expecting that the, uh, the net material would hang into the water a little bit, but... Uh, 
that's kind of expected to make sure that the squirrel can grab a hold of it and get out. And like I said, if they ever do, their little paws will be able to grab onto, grip onto the netting there and they'll be able to easily pull themselves out. So hopefully no more squirrel deaths in the pool. Now some people may ask why I would spend so much effort uh, protecting an animal that a lot of people just consider to be a pest. Um, I don't consider any animal to be a pest. The truth is squirrels have lived here longer than I have, so they have as much right to be here as, as I do. And if I can do something to keep some of them alive, you know what, I think they're cute and I like having them around. So I want to protect them, I want to keep them coming back. So that's, uh, that's just kind of my reasoning for doing that. So anyway, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.